Next, and I presume I was one of the game designers and narrative designers, and we were working together with uh, one of my friends, and uh, we were responsible for designing, you know, all the mechanics, uh, the gameplay, uh, con concept of the gameplay, uh, and all the riddles you can encounter in the game, and also the plot, you know, like the script uh, for the whole game, and all the notes, uh, narration, like also the script for the cutscenes and all of the stuff. So like that was our part and I was part of this team. Cool, awesome. Next. So I'm, um, <laughs> yeah. so I'm coming. I'm a co-founder with Agatha, uh, Dr. Insel, I presume. Uh, and also I'm main programmer and uh, producer uh, of, of, of this game. Cool. Agatha. Okay, so, <laughs> um, uh, almost the same, um, my name is Agatha and uh, I am a producer, I mean, supporting producer, because this is the main guy here. Uh, I support also gameplay, some, some, a little bit uh, game design and other stuff. So I was like a person who, you know, goes everywhere and tries to do a little bit of everything, just make sure it, you know, clicks together at the end. Cool. Last but not least, who we got here? Uh, my name is Patrick and I'm the main 3D artist in this game. Uh, I made most of the 3D assets and I think every animation. Oh, the, well, you, you've done a great job. I, I love some of the art in this. Is, uh, well, all of the art in this is really cool. Who, who drew all of this hand-drawn stuff, who was that? Um, you mean uh, textures on models? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 in that intro bit there, there was all this hand-drawn stuff. Who, who did that hand-drawing draw, stuff? Like like this picture, for example. Yeah, that, that would be Pavo, our main concept artist. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. He's absent today. He's unfortunately absent today, yes. But okay. he do everything. No, oh, fair. Upon arrival, yeah. I was immediately so, struck by I, I saw this. Your house felt. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of wondering about this Dr. Livingstone, I presume. So, I did a little bit of research and found that it was kind of. Like, well, I found out that there was like a, a Dr. Livingstone and Stanley movie or something in the 19. The, the 1938 or something and the famous line was dr livingstone i presume is is that like what inspired this game or how did you get the inspiration for this type of game um yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a funny story <laughs> uh, it wasn't as much of an inspiration as of a lucky guess on Wikipedia, <laughs> because uh, we were sure that we wanted to do an um escape room time of type of experience but with uh, we needed a team for that yeah so we didn't have any idea what what to do with it so we went online we did a lucky guess and we got dr livingston so we started to dig in and, and turned out to be a great topic for this kind of game because he was a traveler he, he disappeared so you know you have all this mystery here going on so uh we took it and then, uh, you know, Camille and other guys came in and took this topic and made it into a story. And this is it. So it was a lucky guess. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But it, uh, I was thinking, oh my God, who, who watches 1930s movies? Like, I thought you guys are like watching a whole lot of old movies or something. And it was like an old movie buff amongst you. Maybe, maybe that was something that was part of it. But um yeah no no no, no. no. <laughs> we did research and i can tell you i am not sure if i watched it really this movie so no. yeah no fair enough um yeah I, I i wouldn't watch anything that old either so i, I can understand that part but did you actually go to africa or how did you actually work out a lot of the concept art for doing this African theme? Was it just research on the internet or is someone an African person or, or goes, travels there often, um, I should say? Uh, we got in touch with um, uh, a few 
institutions in Africa, I don't know how to tell it. There is a museum of uh, Dr. Livingstone in uh, in Africa, so we got in touch with them, uh, but we did most our own research. Uh, our, I think our uh, sound designer went to Africa. Uh, he yeah. got us, yeah, he got us nice souvenirs like African masks, uh, but he was the only one. Well, he got he he did do a good job on the sound because like it's got like this really kind of funky beat that I don't know it's just very tribal but like just a nice amount of sound where you you sit there and go oh this is this is kind of uh, just a nice mood setting beat I guess so he did a great job like I I think yeah it's a um I I'm, I I'm going to admit something to you like right now. I found some of these puzzles at the start really, really tricky, and it took me a long time. So I've actually played the, these, this first bit to open this up. This is all I've worked out, is this part. <laughs> so I'm gonna look really bad after this part, but this is the only bit that... Uh, so if you are playing along at home, it's actually quite a tricky... Um, there is some tricky puzzles that t can take a little bit of time to kind of work out what's what and that kind of thing so um so if i'm making it look too easy it's not that easy i promise so yeah um he's he's put on uh a lot of the doors and stuff like mechanics where you have to pull open the doors and things like that but was it, is that like for potentially like a vr version of the game or why did you just go with that kind of motion yeah we, we get this question very often <laughs> um well, i think for uh for something that you can uh, you know play and relax i don't know after work after school uh you know just chill out and um at the beginning vr seemed you need special equipment for vr so it seemed um not suited well enough for what we wanted to to achieve with this game like this really you know you can sit in front of a computer and just you know play the game and chill out but uh because many many people ask about the vr version um we we are not planning to do it right now but we wouldn't say no first we want to port dr livingstone on switch and then we'll think about vr probably but yeah <laughs> you are not alone with this question yeah, no. Uh, so... Yeah, like I was just saying, like it was just, it just got that vibe. It's got that a very vibe. Like, oh, I can, I can go and click on this and pull this because I, I didn't realize I could open the door straight back, um, back here. Uh, this door here, I didn't realize I could open that door. I clicked on the handle so many times, and it, I didn't realize I had to pull on the door to open it. So. I thought, oh, it took me a little bit to work that out, but, um, and then I thought, oh, hang on, maybe they're doing a VR version of this game, so, um, just thought I'd ask the question while we're here. Um, yeah, a funny story about the door, though, um, that in the demo, ver in the demo of, the, of this game, uh, we have, like, a, a little corridor, and there is a door that you need to just open and go into the room that there you have the puzzles and you need to solve them. But many people just didn't check, like they didn't even think to check that the door were open. So we got a lot of emails and messages that how do I open the first door? And yeah, then where's the key? Where, where's the key? How do I open? And just go and open. <laughs> like they're open. Like like many people just don't don't even uh, like in this kind of game, you usually uh, want everything to be closed and everything is a puzzle. And sometimes it's just as easy as to open um so that's about the, the door that you were saying but yeah the vr version would be quite fun this too yeah, well I, well, I picked up this elephant like a million times, true. thinking that it had a key under it, or and I, trying to get through that door. I'm like, oh, there's got to be a way to get through this door, and I, I actually worked it out via like just, oh, I clicked on it, and I must have pulled my mouse down just by accident, and it opened a tiny little bit, and I'm like, oh, that's how I open the door. Oh, I see now, but um. It, yeah, that that's all that I worked out is basically how to get this monkey key. Uh, uh, the other bit that got me stumped for a long time, I must admit, was when I got this monkey out. I got the statue and I was trying to work out where I was going to put the statue. 
I didn't even think straight away to pull the hand of the statue down to ma to then remove the key. It was just like, oh my goodness, that was another one that, that stumped me for some period of time. But yeah, I I do love a oh, good puzzle game though. I reached the kitchen first. What did inspire you for this game? Someone had left only moments ago after preparing. For like, have you got a favorite game or or anything that you you thought, oh. What this. games did you play when you were growing up? Perhaps you had been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. um, I am a big fan of puzzles. puzzles. Uh, but that about that the puzzles and the story, maybe Kamit can say more. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, uh, at first, when I joined the project, uh, we were more focused on the puzzles, I believe. But uh, since um, personally, I'm a big fan of walking sims and like plotting games. Uh, I was trying always to push the idea of bringing some story, more story into the game, and well, we, I succeed, and we all succeed thanks to that, so that was something really nice to put like the story into this game, and while our base for the whole, whole game was uh, the real story of Dr. Livingstone and Henry Stanley and they, their famous meeting, um we you know like had this problem to like add something to this story because if we were just to repeat it repeat this and it, it wouldn't be this interesting so uh we were also had some moral like you know we, were, we weren't certain that uh it would be good to add some fictional stuff to the story but we consulted with some other game developers from poland and like they said just you know if, the, it, if this will be good then go for it so like we did and like you know i don't want to spoil like the whole plot of our game especially since you're just uh, still playing but um we've got one um there is a main theme in this story and it was a bit you know a bit hard theme to be honest and there is one review on our steam page which says that you know the person who you know like has um like know about this problem uh, from from their life um they like said that we did it with a good taste and really oh, hit the message home so like that was a big compliment and like yes the base for the story is like the real uh, history event but we added something uh, to make it a bit more interesting and also talk about um you know important matter in the in the world let's just say this like that oh i i love the fact that um it's like a completely different type of puzzle game just because it has got this diff like this different vibe to it like it i don't know it's it's not like you, you've tried to make it a horror game so much where a lot of puzzle games become horror games it's it's a puzzle game but it's I don't know, it, that story I think makes it a lot more of a game than if you didn't add this story into it, because like, I'm interested to see why I'm looking for Dr. Livingstone and all of these type of things are like very interesting to me, so uh, I think you've done a wonderful job adding those parts to it. Um, yeah. yeah that's good to hear this was one of our goals to just make like game that will be you know more original that will be not just a simple puzzler when you just you know um teleport into the room and just have to escape but you know to like um give people the whole context uh, to the story and like make them feel more while playing so that's good to hear mm. oh no I, I think it's uh, uh yeah it's a lovely idea of a I don't know. It's just when people do something different, that, that's what that's what's good about game dev, and especially like indie devs that they've got like a little bit of you've got freedom to do something that's a bit different to everyone else does. You don't have to do the same stuff all the time. It doesn't, you know, like no commercial studio would make this game because it's it's too different for them, if you know what I mean. And it's too too risky as a project. So these things here always throw me these little. I always I thought these were doorknobs on the floor, um, and I don't think they actually are doorknobs. I I I've been trying to pick them up when I first started playing this game. I was trying to pick these doorknobs up so I could go and open doors. And no, they're not doorknobs. I don't know what they are, but I can't pick them up. 
Um, I don't think but that's yeah. appropriate now. Um, it's a rattle. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So how long did this game take to make? How, like, what's the kind of timeline that you guys took for this project? Mm. No, well, well. <laughs> it's, it's really hard to say because it started off, uh, it started as a hobby project. Uh, so we we gathered the team and we were working on this after hours, uh, and it was supposed to be just a simple little project to our portfolios, and that's it. But it got bigger and bigger, and then we decided to make it commercial, and it was in May last year, so a year and something <laughs> uh, to make. But we didn't we didn't do it from scratch. We didn't do it from the from zero. Uh, because we had, you know, the grand work done and uh, the art was rebuilt. That was the biggest part mm -hmm. of the game that was really rebuilt. And um, yeah, so I would say a year and a half, maybe, if we yeah. really. Uh, but we, uh, we wouldn't say no to a little bit more time, actually. <laughs> But I think it's a common problem for all the games that, uh, you know, till the end it's more and more work and um, more things to be done. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Uh, uh, it always takes a little bit to get all those little bits and pieces done to make it, I, I don't know, to finish off the game. And what was it? What was one of the trickiest parts making this game? Like, was was it the story or was it agreeing or like you're quite a big team of people you're five people i think is that so is that yeah. a big kind of thing to do or like to agree or how do you or does someone just put their foot down how do, how do you all agree when you're doing a big thing together like this <laughs> uh, yeah i think everybody is responsible uh like solely responsible for uh, his or her own part and uh, we like we have in our team we have um, a lot of freedom in creation uh in our fields so uh like well, well we have our concept artist um he has the last the last word when it comes to you know the the art in general uh when we have camille who is our narrative designer and designer um, he has the last word when it comes to design and um, so uh, uh, you know um it is five people now but uh, through the whole project we had like i don't know 15 17 people uh, working with us and oh, okay. uh, yeah and everybody had like added something some of the things that were mm, done at the beginning by i don't know for example uh 3d artists are not here uh, like the elephant you saw at the at the beginning, it's mm -hmm. like only the only asset that was done by by the guy who was with us for like a few months, and he did a great job. He was doing a good job, uh, but you know the, the the art changed, and we had to you know remodel and retexture everything. So uh, many things you don't see in the game, but you know there is the blood of more people <laughs> than just five. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I understand that. So, yeah. if would they, if you were going to start making this project again, what would you change next time? Oh, oh my God! Oh, I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 from a programmer perspective, I need to refactor uh, a few uh, systems. Uh, I know. There is uh, two or three uh, in code places where there is a very success scenario, but it's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I need to re refactor it. Mm. What about yeah. uh, another fields? Yeah, we have uh, like about the code. We have like uh, a few a few things that uh, we're not proud of, of course, but. Uh, we have one puzzle, I'm not going to tell you which one, that is from the very, very beginning of the game. So it was developed, uh, you know, completely different than, than the rest. Before uh, an experience. Uh, yeah, we gained a lot of experience during the production. So we, 
like all of us made better stuff. <laughs> Uh, but we didn't have time to refactor to do over everything. So there is one puzzle who is, you know, it works, but every time I look at it, I'm just praying, you know, when will we have time just to rewrite <laughs> it to, to make sure that it works. But uh, actually, it wasn't the one that, that broke. Yeah. Uh, like we, we got, after a premiere, we got a few bugs uh, from our players. Yeah. And none of them was a puzzle. But th there is one that I'm really afraid of. It's very old. So, uh, yeah, so we gained a lot of experience. What I was talking about, what was the question? <laughs> well, I was, I a, uh, what, would you, what would you do if you were going to change your, everything again? Yeah. Or is it just, you, you just learned to, to probably um, make sure you, you get everything right by the sounds of it. You've just, you, you're kind of happy with where it's all came to, but you've um, just kind of got stuck with some bits and pieces that you wish had changed uh, i guess uh yeah that's i don't know that's yeah. what i'm kind of hearing but oh i cannot i'm a bit lost at the moment with this puzzle i'm trying to work i feel like i'm trying to work out three puzzles at once here and you've given me the <laughs> the parts for three puzzles and and that makes it kind of quite tricky because i'm like yeah, oh where do all these three bits and pieces go so um that, that's what I'm trying to work out at the moment, but... For for this kind of situations, we designed a hint system. <laughs> oh, I didn't Did even know see? there was a hint system in this. I'm just going uh, around the... opening doors. Okay, okay, but you, you just didn't saw the pop-up message on the screen, or like you, um, you know, consciously don't use the hint system? Um, I probably unconsciously don't use a hint system. Where I just, okay. <laughs> where you're just like, are you, because you're looking at the middle of your screen, so if something pops up on the outside, you're just like, oh, okay. I didn't see that. Um, okay. Um, uh, maybe. Can I, I bring up the hints? If you want, you can access it by pressing H, I believe. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. I did not even know about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just it just gives you the description of what you've just done, and ah. if you click the next paragraph, then it tells you what you have to do next. And like you know, it's not just a simple hint. Like, um, what you know, it's not like um, it just gives you a precise instruction what you have to do. That's why it's not a next hint, but a next paragraph. Yeah. And when you press uh, tab G, you see a reading mode. Uh, yeah, in the more in oh, simplified yeah, yeah, yeah. font. Oh, I, I know how to get out of here. Now I've just got to try and work out how to... Um, I've got to try and work out. So I've got to try and get my key pieces together, I think, for this kitchen. I feel like that door there is a kitchen door they're talking about. But I don't. Yeah. But I don't think I have the bits to go into that bit. Uh, maybe this does. No, nope. none of these bits go on there, do they? Maybe I need to get all these bits onto the scales thing, and then that'll pop out a thing that pops into this thing. Oh, it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> do you get how frustrated have you got watching people play the game? Um, do you get like very frustrated? watching people going oh you guys are annoying me just do it like this or do you who are you got patience no, now <laughs> no we, we're just curious i mean uh, i i like looking at when people play our game to see if they have fun really uh, so it, it's i am a little bit stressed that uh, you know you get stuck or you can get frustrated mm -hmm. uh but i think it's kind of part of the game like when I play, I don't know, the rooms, for example, I get frustrated all the time when I cannot solve the problem. <laughs> but you just did. And... <laughs> oh, did I? Oh, oh, hang on, I got They're this missing. bit. Can I grab that bit? I don't know if I can... Oh, there's so much to do. Like, so most of these kind of puzzle games, you've got like one little bit and then... But you've kind of gone to another level where I have to get that little bit and do something with that little bit and maybe you have to line it up here or something I don't know hmm 
maybe my little hint book. Aha, uh -huh. that makes sense. So now that you've told me about the hint book, I'm all good. Um, oh, sugar. Um, you solve it. I did solve it. <laughs> oh. oh, I solved it by accident? Oh my goodness, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> That, do I need to do something? Because I think uh, that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's a bit different to your usual puzzle games where you just normally I would solve that puzzle and it would give me a thing and then that thing would do. You know what I mean? I could do something with that thing, but you you've got like these little inbuilt puzzles into all the bits and pieces that I have. So this one, oh, this one's got this. I have got a star actually. I do have a star. Okay. Um, so that's yeah, why you've kind of gone with this other other level of stuff. That's kind of cool. Uh, can I? Oh, hang on. Maybe I have to do. Yeah, there are. Uh, you, you usually when you solve the puzzle, even if you get something from it, you need to take it physically. Like the game doesn't give you just because you did it. You need to take it. And there is a little hint actually that you have a cog. Yeah. Uh, on the icons. Suggest that you need to do something else with it. <laughs> the cog was also with the mon monkey statue, so it might be a similar interaction. Uh, oh, do I have to do so? Oh my goodness! So I could do something where I could move it, or I can't do anything. Oh, I push. Oh, of course, I push the button. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys! But it, and now it becomes a thing without a thing, so I can use it for that thing. So, but that's what I'm saying, like that little thing there is a bit that makes your game like a lot more unique to other games that that don't have those little bits and pieces like that. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, it's oh. like the simple level, like the the kitchen that you're right, right now in, mm -hmm. it's like one of the simplest rooms uh, because the further you go, the harder it gets. Oh, don't tell me that. We're gonna have to sw stop the stream before then. Um, <laughs> I'm, joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. You'll have to tell me the answers. It's fine. That's why. I, that's why I play with the devs so I can work out the answers. Uh, oh, okay. I got this thing open. Oh, and then I got. I think this thing probably goes downstairs into the other bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's all coming together, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Once you start get working out a little bit of it, you can kind of it all makes kind of some kind of sense. But before that, some of it can be a bit tricky. When you're first getting to the room, it can be slightly daunting. Oh, I feel like I need to put something on there, or something. That would be useful, yeah. <laughs> mm, like a bucket, or no, that's a tricky part. See, my logical brain <laughs> tells me to put a bucket on there, but whether or not that's true or not is another kind of sick. Oh my goodness. The bucket probably wouldn't stick to it. Like you need to... You, yeah, like you just, yeah, like just the bucket. Maybe something more. <laughs> oh, something more. But I don't have rope. Or maybe I do. You have to find it. So I, <laughs> so I, I, don't, have ro I don't have the rope. I knew I didn't have the rope. Oh. Yeah, maybe Livingstone has. So. Oh, Livingstone guy is a bit of a p pain. I feel like I've got to do something with this, but I don't. This contraption is mind blowing me out. Like it's, it's crazy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this thing. It's um, yeah, very it's tricky. Final. Yeah, it's a final puzzle. Like every room has. Oh, uh, okay. Monumental. One big, yeah, one monumental <laughs> final puzzle to, to uh, solve. So yeah. when I when I see the crazy thing in the room, I know that's the thing that I come to last. <laughs> Probably. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys use the Unreal Engine to use to make this game. Did you enjoy yes, using that agree. engine, or would you have you like? Is that the one you would use next time, or? What, like, what was your thoughts with using Unreal? Uh, yes, we use Unreal. Uh, our company is uh, connected to do Unreal. We also uh, made uh, make a uh, training uh, and courses 
uh, for Unreal Engine. So oh, really? We love, we love this stuff. Oh, so you yeah, know yeah. Unreal more than... Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's alright, then. Um, I know, because... Unreal is predominantly done for most games that are more cinematic and stuff like that. And most of these physics type games are normally done with the Unity type engine. So I was surprised to find it was done with Unreal. Um, I'm not saying it's not cinematic, but it just, it's, there's a lot of kind of s puzzles and that could have been um, probably done easier with more of a physics based engine. That, that I don't know, just, just a guesstimate. Yeah. <laughs> the, the funny part is that uh, Unreal Engine has a physics uh, a physics engine that works quite well, but uh, we actually didn't use it. Uh, like we decided only, to turn it off. Uh, only one puzzle uses uh, physics engine. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, at the beginning we decided to, to not use it, uh, not use physics, just uh, you know construct our own uh, behavior of objects. Mm -hmm. uh, but one puzzle really needed that so it's 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 turned on only for only one puzzle yeah oh, okay. one puzzle is, something. <laughs> is it is it for... that puzzle is it that puzzle no okay. oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. when you solve this puzzle you 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 will sure that this is a physics base is it oh is it yeah. coming is it coming up soon is it I've gone through every. Oh, I've, gone through, <laughs> I've gone through every drawer in the house, and I, I feel like that hole has got something to do with something. It's not. That's not there for no reason. I know that. I know. I know you guys too well now. Um. <laughs> you see, right? <laughs> I, I can give you a hint. Can I give a hint? I don't know. Can I give a hint? I don't know where the, where is the rope? That's all I, is that the rope hanging up? Have I got to untie it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, yeah. this description, description of the rope placement is in the hint system. If you want oh, to check this oh, one. Oh. Uh, oh, I got more hints. Oh, hang on. I didn't, I forgot to check yeah, back it, on the hints. You. Well, yeah, it just feels while you're playing, and that was one of the main idea for this hint system to just you know the the paragraphs just show up when you do, when you do something. So um, during the progress of the game, it just feels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we did that, and then we the story of Stanley going for the house. Um... And maybe we can speed a little bit up to say downstairs. Oh, did I say it? <laughs> yeah, I know I've got to get the water. I've got to. I know I've got to get the water. That's a, a, a like like I said. Like mo most puzzle games, you get a very. I don't know. You kind of start unraveling the puzzle, and it unravels really fast. But I'm not saying that in a bad way. But I'm saying that you guys have made it so. I unravel a little bit, and you, and then I think, oh yeah, I'm I'm on this. I I know what I'm doing, and and then I don't, and then I get lost. And I have to try and work it all out again. It, you know what I mean? Like, so it's it's a good way if you're really into kind of those very puzzling games. This game is definitely got that in bucketfuls. You've you've done more uh, like a really good job at making those really complex puzzles that are they're not impossible. And if um, if you're not talking and live streaming at the same time, it's probably easier to read and do everything at once. But sometimes these these games can be a bit uh, tricky when you're doing that. So that that's all. Yeah. So maybe we'll tell you. We'll just tell you. Let's oh. tell. Uh, downstairs, oh. uh, on, on it, you opened all the all the a little bit left. All the clothes. It's yeah. You're yeah. looking at it. Oh. On the left. On the left. On the left. On the left. On the left, on the left, 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 left. Uh, you know any other any words? <laughs> uh, the Cold? cabinet uh, on the left of, from the barrels. Oh, hang uh, on, that one. Barrels. Uh, no, to the left, to the left. Uh, yeah, this one here. Just three barrels. Oh and this one here, my yeah, god, and... I couldn't even <laughs> see. Oh my god, yeah. I could have got around for that rope forever. <sighs> you guys yeah. stress me out. 
<laughs> yes. We are aiming for like uh, not the beginners, like medium, advanced players. But we got a lot of feedback that puzzles can be really easy in this game. So. <laughs> Uh, like I said, uh, if you probably if you've got all heaps of time to, um, like do that looking around and stuff like that, then and you're not live streaming and talking to people, it's probably a lot easier to kind of think about those type of things. Um, That's right. Right. You can focus um, just on solving. We got we got a question in about what well, what's the game about? Is it a mystery? And it it's. It is a bit of a mystery because we're trying to find out what happened to Dr. Livingstone and we're solving puzzles looking for him. Um, are we Are we Stanley? Are we playing the character of Stanley or are we playing... Yes. Uh, yeah, we are Henry, yes, we are Henry Stanley. And like yeah. it was all said in the intro, it was muted, uh, so yeah. it might not be that this clear, but... Yeah, we are Stanley who just, you know, he found Livingstone, he left, you know, like in the history, but we added the part when during his return to home, he got another message from Livingstone, which he, in which he asked for help and to come back again. So like, uh, he, and, and this is what we see in the game. Okay. Oh, let's see, I'll put that up. <sighs> there we go. Now I've got water. Hmm. Oh, it's fall again. <laughs> you guys are tricking me again. I gotta put that down. <laughs> now I got. Oh, okay. So now, can I take the bucket of water? I don't know. What could I put in? Maybe I can. The water. Maybe I can... The water. <laughs> I've got water. I have water. I can't drink it. Oh, hang on. Can I put the kettle in the water? Nope. I can't put anything into the water. How can use I use kettle again? Use the kettle again. Uh, yeah, the, there's the those icon just you know when they are transparent, then it means they are not in the right place, and when they are uh, you know the uh... more filled with color, then this means they are usable. Okay, so I thought the opposite. I thought when it was so oh my filled kettle now. Okay, so I when I dragged it over there, I thought oh it's um transparent when it went transparent it was on it so uh, yeah i was just being opposite so sorry that's interesting yeah yeah I have not, not... because it came it came off it came off with full color when i came dragged it out of the thing it came out like it was in full color like it so and then it actually changed when it went transparent so that's okay. why I that's why I thought that it should have came off translucent and then went to full color when I could drop it. Like I don't know, that's okay. that's the way I assumed it would have happened. <sighs> okay, now my book, my help book. Oh, so now we've got our <laughs> bu now we've got our bucket of water. We pulled the pin, we pulled the bucket back up. Um, kind of, I feel like we've got to make some tea. I've got like heaps of herbs and stuff. So I feel like I've got to cook it all up now. That's why I went to the stove. But that's mm -hmm. not working, that one. So maybe I've got to go back around to this one. I'm not sure. We'll go on the stove. That's not, that's not a stove, is it? So... Mm -hmm. It's got like a yeah, weird... The, night... yeah, the nature of, this ob of the previous object uh, will be unrevealed. Unravel it later. Oh, so I can't. <laughs> so I can't use I my. Agree. I can't make my kettle. I can't use my kettle to do all these things. Is that what you're trying to say? I mean, this the most mysterious, you know, like the biggest object. Um, the nature of it, it will be more clear later. But right now we have to look for the stove, which is one in the room. <laughs> yeah, but. That that's a stove, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I can't put my Where kettle. Was kettle. I can't put my kettle onto my stove. Can I put it in the stove? Maybe in the stove. Maybe I have to put it down here. Can I put it? Yeah. In? But you have to go into a puzzle view. So click. Uh, oh, the first click. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
two games. And how do yeah, I... one game of when you walk around, and the other one you solve the puzzles. Uh, I can't do that. Okay, I put wood on there. Can I put turmeric in it? No. And I can't add battle basil. No. Pepper to water. What do you cook? I don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to make something nice. I was trying to make something nice and different. Like. Okay. I need like some. How do I start this? Oh, maybe I can move it or something. Oh, okay. Oh, that was really yeah. cool. Yeah, I, I I, yeah. Oh, I, I, I really <laughs> like that kind of thing where I can move the the flint. That was super cool. This is, is my it... favorite mechanic uh, in the game. When you have to use the flint to, to create a fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now I've got to turn it to go in there. Oh, wow, that's super cool. I like that was a cool mechanic. And then it drop this thing. Yeah. Oh, this. There's a yeah, lot but... in this room. <laughs> that didn't. That one dropped down here, didn't it? No, it's upstairs on oh. the back. Oh, so it was that other one upstairs. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought that, but it didn't highlight you on me. So it. Yes, it's here. I did it. Oh, just that really tiny bit. An empty vial. So have I got enough vials now? Okay, let me check my hint book. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you put a lot of effort in it, so check it. Check it. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we just got asked is there a whole world? No, this is all set in one house. The whole game takes place in this one house, is that right? Or do we ever leave the house? Or is that ruining the story? Uh, actually, you cannot leave the house uh, because the game <laughs> forbid. I don't know how to say it. That doesn't allow. I mean, I mean the plot reason is that uh, Stanley is really determined to help his friend. So he, when you try to approach the door, uh, he will make a comment that he first needs to find his friends. So like that's yes, that, that's it. So it's kind of like a mystery inside of the one house, and so yeah, there's a lot. Um, so, brew and look in, I picked up, yeah, so I've already did that part. So now I've got like, I feel like all these vials are going to fit in them holes, but I don't know if I've got enough vials. And what, shit, that one might go in there. That one goes in there, okay. <laughs> and that one goes in there. So I'm missing a vial. I'll just put pepper in that hole. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely does not work. So you you never know what's working. <laughs> yeah, well you've got to try these things. I've got to find the last vial. It sounds very yeah, it's a tricky one. It sounds very vile, doesn't it? Um, sorry, that was my bad joke for today. I will I will stop now. Um, is it hid? If it's hidden on one of these shells. You guys have probably hidden it in one of these little shelves somewhere. I wonder how long such supplies last. Nope, not there. Well, this is my, uh, uh, some night when I was uh, walking on, the, on this level. Uh, our level, ah, oh, you found it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit highlighted. No, well, once, you, once I found the rope, once you, once you told me about the rope, I'm like, I know you have hidden it on one of those little shelves. Just had to find which one. Um, you learn so fast. Too fast. Yeah. <laughs> but you are prepared for the rest of the game. I don't know. But now I don't know what anything does. Nothing's clickable. Yeah, because uh, one of the vials was empty. Oh. Well, that's not cool <laughs> at all. And I can't, I can't remove the vial. How would you do it in real life? Remove it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remove yeah. It. Would I not remove it? Or if you can't uh, remove, you can. Fill it. Oh, maybe I can put my salt, yeah. my pepper in tight. No. It's closed. 
the violent how, club. How do you open a bottle of wine, for example? Um, with a cork opener. Or are we talking? Yeah. About, hang on, are we talking about expensive wine or cheap wine? Because I only do the cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I do the cheap wine with the little bottle top, so we just spin the bottle top. So I need a cork opener. I see. So this is an expensive one, uh, vial. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm, yeah, okay. So we've got to find a cork opener, I reckon. Oh, that. I would never ever guess that in a million years if you didn't kind of lead me through that. Like, I, I don't even know if it's in the hints. Um, I think I, it is. It says. You have to create next paragraph. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, if you, if you click next paragraph, then it reveals the next hint. Yeah, in the button on the left bottom corner. Ah, oh, okay. The next paragraph, which triggers the precise instruction for the uh, next step. Because oh. what you can see without clicking it, it's just a description of what you've just done. Hi, girl. Um, right, I noticed the old coffee grinder was used to grind the popcorn, okay. So now we've got to find the old pop coffee grinder. Well, this is going to be, um, old coffee grinder. Yeah, you found it. Uh, yeah, I believe you sp spinned it one time. Did I spin it? Yes. Hey, you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that the coffee grinder? I don't know. I don't know what coffee grind. I don't know what an old coffee grinder looks like. I'm not sure. Thank God. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. I think that was a thing that I spun. <laughs> Where did I spin that? Does it downstairs or up? It was over here. Was it that thing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if I oh maybe I put my pepper in that. That's a good idea. Oh, that's yes, because <laughs> nothing's better than peppery coffee. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Or pepper with water. Or pepper with water. <laughs> Do I need water in there too? Do I need to go and get my kettle back? So we try. Oh, hang on. What's oh, this? Ground pepper. Okay. So how do I? If that go, that doesn't go in there, does it? Because I don't have a cork opener. Oh, a can opener, a bottle opener. I don't know where this bottle opener is now. Hmm. But you are very close. Don't go far. Don't go too far, you would say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hot, hot, close. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> <laughs> This is the minor thing. I like, know. Like... No, you guys are like stressing me out now. Like it's like, oh. Okay, I can't use that, but I can pick it up. Which one can I drop it on? That must be that one. Okay. I can't. So at the start, I really hated that whole moving stuff around, but I kind of understand the more that I play the game, why you did that particular version because it kind of does make it more immersive to play was that the kind of intentions of that exactly yeah exactly we want to uh, get a little bit closer to walking sims and give a little bit more interaction we didn't want to make uh, just a simple point and click mm -hmm. uh, because there are many of them so to make it a little bit different we decided for this what do i do with this why did i take that off um, let me take that. Why am I taking this off? Oh my god. Yeah, like the tree is a little this not straight. I know that. But if I take this off, I can't put it anywhere. Um, Are you sure? I am. <laughs> no. <I'm not>. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm just not obvious. Oh. In first for us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> way too heavy that side. So now I've got to kind of. Okay. 
I'll put that one over there maybe. And it's almost about fair. Oh my god. It's <laughs> Yeah. How long I hate it as well. Oh, <laughs> did you hate it too? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you're enjoying it. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah, but to be honest, there, there is one puzzle which I designed and I wasn't able to, you know, fix it. So, like, that was funny. <laughs> Solve it. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, uh, that was... Yeah. A key with an elephant head. Oh, so that's another room. So yeah. how, bit... is, how do you feel like now when, when you've solved all of this? Oh, so is there an elephant head here, here, up there? We just do the lazy way of putting the key in each door thing so we don't have to travel. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that doesn't what fit most here. people do, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that you didn't have like a elephant head on the door or something because that's too easy that's probably the door that's less likely to be because it's going to go outside so I'm going to go up the stairs now that I think about <laughs> it that's got a lion on there that's not an elephant head at all <laughs> good enough it doesn't work does it uh, it doesn't, it doesn't fit, fit. Yeah. so it is the back door you're tricking me no, I don't know now <laughs> <laughs> oh, I yeah, think... and the next room it's one of the favorites, really. Oh, really? I mean, everybody has has uh, it, uh, his own favorite mm -hmm. uh, favorite room, but this one is most popular, I think. Okay. I considered many scenarios and... as to what had happened. But so this is kind of almost like an escape room type thing also. Was that like another inspiration for this type of game or? My eyes were met with chaos. Yeah, we call it reverse escape room. So you don't need to go out of the room. You need to go deeper, not out of the house, deeper into the house. But yeah, pretty much you need to solve the puzzles. We close the puzzles inside each room. So you don't need to go you know, from one room to the other to uh, to find something or to solve anything. If you solve the room, it's solved. You get the key and you go further. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We took a little bit of uh, inspiration from, uh, you know, the rooms uh, and uh, and their games of Fireproof. Yeah, the, the rooms, uh, the House of Da Vinci, uh, what, about, what more? Uh, Quern. That's right. Did you yeah, get... but... Oh, sorry, do you guys okay, I, yeah. well, um, have go. those real life escape rooms over there that you can go to? Yeah, we do. Did you just go and like escape room to try and test things in there or you didn't do anything like that as a game dev kind uh, of <laughs> moment? Uh, we go there, uh, we go there mostly for pleasure at <laughs> the time. Um, if for inspiration, I'm not sure. We didn't have much opportunity to go to any live escape room because of the COVID situation. Mm -hmm. mm, so the virtual ones were pretty much all we could do. But many years ago, a few years ago, yeah, yeah, yeah we were like My once a month, a once every other month, yeah. we 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 went to the escape room. But it was, you know, mostly for the fun with friends and, uh, you know. To be intellectual before going for a beer. Yeah, and yeah. this is the almost the oldest puzzling game in the Mario Box. Almost the oldest? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's the one that I have to be careful of that breaks, is it? Um, no, 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 no. This is no. almost the oldest. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We have new puzzles, old puzzles, very old puzzles, very new puzzles. <laughs> uh, I could just imagine you guys sitting around dreaming up these puzzles and you'd be like, oh, if I took that thing and I went and put it over here and then that thing went over here and like, how long would it take to design one room, for example, for a puzzle? Like is, what's the kind of time frame on something like that? 
Well, it's oh. it's really different when it comes to design, you know, like the paper project. Um, then I remember the fastest design was like, you know, in a one week, but it definitely need to be polished later. So like, it's hard to say how long time because there was always something to change, something to adjust. So like the general concept of the um, which puzzle which go after which one you know uh, how they are connected was like the fastest one because this is the only, um, only one time it happened it was like in one week mostly it was like two three weeks but uh, they were always there were always some changes to it so like the design is hard to like say um, exactly how much time it went to each room oh yeah but so basically like um, they'd be thought up in one or two weeks and then they would then you'd have to like test them to make what a mess what could have happened obviously here? after that but i mean that's kind of semi-normal i guess when you're building a game to keep doing testing and all that kind of yeah. stuff you, you've just got to keep doing that otherwise you don't get a nicely polished game like you've got so that's pretty much why you keep testing Oh, that's imp that's what I was looking for. The strange block. <laughs> <laughs> Everything oh, is strange. Another strange block. Oh. No, um, this is the oldest puzzle. The, the one strange block. Two strange. Is it a second strange block? So I'm missing two strange blocks, and then I can <laughs> put this puzzle that's together. Right. Yeah. See that that one there's very obvious in some ways because you you kind of you've already got the bits sitting there so I know what I need before I um if I didn't have the other bits sitting there I would be like lost what am I meant to do right now um, oh okay so that's not that um yeah I don't know there were a few a few puzzles when we were um... After prototyping, when we were testing, that came out too hard or too tough to, to figure out. So we needed to add um, a little bit help mm. to that. I could imagine that would be that's the, the fine line, I guess, between um, getting it. You want to make it hard enough to make it a nice challenge and easy enough to make it like do you want it to be doable you don't want it <laughs> you, you know you don't want people getting too frustrated in it otherwise they, they kind of go oh well i'm not going to play this anymore it's just too much for me to to play um and they, they end up getting angry and frustrated with the game and you're not trying to frustrate the people as more as it's a fun game so you, you kind of got to lead them to an extent the, yeah exactly like that and it's even harder when you have different players with different skill and experience in such games so you always have to uh like think what this game is uh, who this game is for so uh when we were testing on players mm -hmm. like we had like you have like one puzzle and that had like two completely different opinions one was that it cannot be done it's just too difficult and one was that it's the best puzzle in the game so we, we like had to decide if to leave it or not um it, it depends on who this game is for and who is closer to our player that, that we aim yeah, yeah to our audience that's right did you ever consider having like an easy mode and a hard mode <laughs> uh, thinking about it but uh, because it's just five of us, we just um, had to, you know, throw some stuff out of the game. Like, uh, and, and this was one of it. Like, we had one one, one more room uh, in the game at the beginning. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. But uh, uh, closer to the end, we, we, like, we knew that we cannot make everything that we wanted in the game. That we have to, you know, cut the scope somehow. And one room was just cut out. <laughs> so, so could that uh, potentially um, make it as a, a a later release in the game if it gets enough, poss like 
Yes, like, like DLC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to be honest, uh, there is in uh, engine, uh, there is a uh, walls and uh, everything uh, on on the on the place for the, this room. But oh, okay. There is a... <laughs> there's no, but there's no yeah. room. Yeah. Oh. Who made all these drawers and that that I have to go around and open and there's literally nothing. I think out of every drawer in the house, I've found three things and there's like 400 drawers. Like there's a, there's a lot of drawers that don't have anything in them. I'm just saying. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, we counted. How many drawers we have? Uh, we know. counted once, but I don't, I don't remember how many. <laughs> um, because it's like, uh, you know, you are like in a normal house, like when you, when you go somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I don't know if people do that, that they go into the house and they open drawers, probably <laughs> not. Uh, but it was designed for uh, for this kind of experience that you can open everything and every every drawer, every closet, even there is not, nothing interesting there. The things, uh, uh, when you enter the uh, escape room, uh, the first thing you are doing is open every, everything you can, so... Yeah, that's 100% yeah. right. The, the only thing that always throws me with the drawers is if I open a drawer like this, right? So I've got it all the way open and now I put my hand over the drawer and I can't pick up those things. That's just signifying so no. I can close the drawer, but it's not, it's not that, that you know what I mean? Like I'm going, well, why can't I pick that up? I'm clicking on it. Like at the start of the game, I thought I could pick those parts up, but it was just because I could close the drawer, but it, you know what I mean? So that that's the only bit that threw yeah. me a little bit with the drawers, I, and I kept on going. I can't pick that up, and I'm not, yeah. But I, there is a, a little bit different cursor for uh, picking up. Uh, if you notice it, mm. uh, it's similar because we always have a hand, uh, but for grabbing and picking, it's it's different one. But maybe that's the, the small. But maybe the difference is too small, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe I didn't notice any difference. Like, when I started opening up the drawers, I was like, oh, what, what is this? And I can't get anything out of that, and I'm I'm trying to work out what there is. Is there something hidden right back there? There better be something. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nothing but back that would there. That would be cool. Yeah, I know. That one's a cool one. Like, I didn't notice that one for a while there. And, um, yeah, I don't know what this thing does. I have no idea. I've got these bits, charcoal. Maybe I can draw on it. Nope. And I can't screwdriver it. Oh, can I screwdriver those screws up there? Hang on. There are some screws up here. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> they're very, they're very dark screws, just to be fair. I looked at it, I was like, oh. Where's my screwdriver gone? Ah. It, like, I don't know. It's very well done, this game, and I really enjoy playing it, but, like, it takes you a tiny bit to get used to all the stuff that you've got to do in the game. It, like, it's it's a little bit different, the mechanics, to a normal game, if that makes sense. Um, uh, some game. And just from a playing point of view you, you kind of look at it and go oh hang on this is I mean it's great to have something different and unique but it takes you a little bit to learn um that's all but yeah not a bad thing just uh, uh what is that th charcoal I can't put that in there um so it's you know I mean sometimes you just get um it's sometimes it's just learning learning a game I can't do anything with this, can I? Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I think this is the movement. Uh, yeah, sometimes players uh, gave us the, the feedback that uh, they are used to point and clicks, and uh, it's weird to uh, to move around like in uh, normal, uh, how to call it, uh, first person. First person. First person. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just a little bit. It's not majorly different. It's just it's just a little bit of learning, and it's not bad, but it does take you a little bit to do that. Um, we got asked 
is the game or does the game have multiple endings depending on what you find in... No, no we aimed. Yeah, we not, we aimed for the one ending that is just um, um, our story is linear, and we just wanted to tell a certain story without the um, possible, you know, different ways for the things to happen. It's all just set in stone. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Although in the first instance of the game there were multiple endings, I believe, but and the way to achieve this were just um, a bit too weird to design, you know, so the player wouldn't really feel that his choice really had an impact, you know, like you uh, as a players we are usually uh, used to picking up uh, picking everything we just oh, find because yeah. the this, the items might be useful. So, you know, it might be more of a lucky guess, um, you know, the ending wouldn't be, the player wouldn't feel that it was his choice, the ending he got, you know, so like, uh, we decided that it will be better for just the story to, mm, to happen. Yeah, it makes sense. I just sort of, I'll have yeah, a guess. I, guess the I just sort of guess, like, it's only four numbers, it can't be that hard to guess. <laughs> um we have one we had one girl who gets it <laughs> seriously so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, is, it wasn't like he gets it is it is it three five six something i don't know that proverb sticks out but there's only four numbers there hmm. So the clock isn't working. Three, five. What happens if you guess so? If it, does it put everything in a different order? Uh, once again. Uh, no, the ordering of the numbers is very important. Oh uh, yes, yeah. Did yeah. it? Um. Does anyone want to have a guess? I'll, I, I'm taking guesses if anyone wants to give me a guess. <laughs> it's, only four digits. <laughs> it's only four. It's only four digits, so yeah, like, it can't be that hard, surely. I'm just missing a two pieces of this puzzle. It can't be that too tricky to find, surely. It's not in that one. It's sometimes. So, I can hint. I can uh, tell you that there is a one. Uh, chest to open. One more chest to open. Oh, uh, really? I've chest. missed. I've missed a chest. Really? A uh, ch chest or drawer? I think a chest. Chest. <laughs> a oh, drawer. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't even see that up there. He's a guy. He's a good at hiding stuff on me. That's for sure. <laughs> Okay, so I've, I still think... Have I got all the blocks? Um, I'm still missing a block, however. Yeah, one more. But I've got the last chest open. So where's the last block going to be? It's in that number thing, isn't it? It's in here. So now I have to try and guess the numbers. <laughs> but... So, hang on, what's my book say? It doesn't oh next paragraph i would never I, I also don't think i would ever have guessed that next paragraph thing ever i didn't i do i what like is that just so like if i don't want the information i don't get it um what like what why is that you know, withholding information um what's the train of thought with that yeah uh, when you open, because it's like a Stanley's journey, so it's uh, the story, the whole story of you as a player being in this house, uh, but also the story of Stanley going through the house, like this is his story of, of this game, and uh, described, yeah, like a personal journey, exactly, uh, and uh, it's described inside this book. Uh, so we didn't want any spoilers, that's why you need to click the next paragraph to, to get the spoiler. Uh, oh, but 
we, we get a lot that next paragraph doesn't say that it is a next hint. So if you get stuck, uh, that's why we're going to change it for, for next hint uh, uh, in the next update. Yeah, 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 because it doesn't say that it, that it gives you hints. But uh, the whole hint system was designed to be a journal, actually. So we didn't want, you know, a, a boring kind when you just, you know, click the, I don't know, question mark or something and you get the sentence, do this or do that or look at this. We wanted to do something more fancy. Um, so here is the, the notebook <laughs> to read. Yeah, no, that makes it's, sense. It's quite well written, actually. Yeah. So it's nice to read it, just, you know, to, to read it. <laughs> But you, uh, you missed one very puzzle, one of my favorites. One puzzle? Yeah, this is something yeah. special with this drawer. With what it? drawer? I was thinking about this... Uh, um... Oh, the chest oh. set? Oh. What are you talking about? Oh, the chest is not set. Have I got... Yeah, you can move the figures. Okay. I'm good at chess, but... but my chest set does not have these lines on it. <laughs> no. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so they uh, move yeah, the story, in conjunction with each other. Yes, yeah, that uh, chess is very. It's it's often used in in different games because you know it's. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to make it different somehow. So oh, that's I why. don't. I can't see what you've done here. <laughs> That's exactly like a normal chessboard. What are you talking about? Um, they're joking, <laughs> obviously. But uh, you play it every day, right? <laughs> yeah, I do play chess. Oh, okay. So that moves over there. Now this one moves like that. That one moves like that. And what's my end game with this? What am I trying to get? Your king is in trouble. My king. <laughs> my king. Oh my goodness. A lion king. He is a lion king. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, we, we we gave him uh the golden crown like I don't know a week before release. He decided okay, a black king with golden crown. <laughs> okay. What are we trying to do with this chess set? I do, I'm not actually sure what, am I trying to get the kings together? Uh, that's what I'm unsure about. Is it, hang on, maybe my book. Nope. Yeah, you're missing one piece for the, for the chest. So oh! Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So that, well, that's going to make it hard it's going to make it hard to win the chess game if I'm missing a piece. Exactly. <laughs> See, that's in my book, so that's why I'm... This thing here is in my book, and I don't understand why this picture is in my book, but there's no puzzle thing here. See? It is, up there. Yes. Up there. See, I do pay attention. I mean, but... It is a reference to the door, I believe, the part about the key, because yeah. there was a similar pattern on the key that was leading to this door, to, the, to, the, uh, to this room. Oh, on the door key? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. So See, has... there's, this, uh, th there's this square, and on the door there is also a square. Ah, okay. Oh, because I saw that in the book and I'm like, oh, hang on, that, that thing there is going to open up and then I'm going to get the last number for my chest and then that's going to open up and then I'm going to get the bit to put in here. Then I'm going to get that and then I'm going to put that in there and then I'm going to get the key and then I'm going to leave the room. That's exactly what I'm assuming is going to happen. But that thing there doesn't do what I wanted it to do. So that was... But there is a puzzle. Uh, if you go near the puzzle, this desk... Yeah. Uh, you have a book on it. And you have coal. Yeah, the book is the key. The book. Uh, no, not this one, the big one. The big book, oh, okay. Yeah, this one. But can I open the book? Can I do anything to the book? I tried turning pages. There's a missing uh, piece of paper. Some missing. 
yeah, piece of paper is missing, but. Oh, um, I can charcoal it. Of course I can. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Press into the. All right. Oh, that makes sense now. <laughs> so I was kind of right. 18. I don't know what else. Maybe on the other side. Can I move my. I can't go on that side either. 18. I guessed 8. I, no, I put an 8 there. I think I did 81. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go back and watch that video back. Because if I guessed um, 81, that would have been pretty fancy. Um, how do I get that over there? I can't do that mm -hmm. side. Can I do the other side or am I just trying something because it doesn't work? Uh, I think this is it. This I can't. Is it. I you can't. Can and you can what? Sorry. Uh, you get a number and the hint that the first two digits and the hint where other two digits are. In a head. In the head. And a hint. Yeah, it's eighteen, and there's a head, and then that's a head, and I can look at her. If I look at her on the strange angle, is that like the queen? It is. Who grieved the queen? Is that the like a young queen? She's like a lot older now. So, um, nope, no numbers there. Oh, so if I, I'm gonna put these numbers in here, right? So if we go for the one and the eight. Now I've only got to guess two numbers. I feel like that's an easier process. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you can try it. Go yeah. try it. I some numbers that. I'm not going to guess. <laughs> if it was 1A, I think it should be like 36 or something, actually, or 35. <laughs> no, it's not, is it? No. Is it? I truly don't re not remember. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I I saw these numbers. Oh, maybe fifty six. Hang on, let's try fifty six. Um, let's try fifty six. I don't know why them two numbers. Does it click open if I guess it, or do I have yeah. to go? On f oh, okay. <sighs> I'm not gonna guess it. Who am I kidding? There will be some action. All uh, right. So we're missing one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There's one special um, drawer. I'm going to go to the English. Can we open it? Does it work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one drawer missing. <laughs> one drawer? Uh, I mean, you opened it, but you closed it later. This is a special. Oh, that is not a clue, because I've already said that I've opened 400 drawers so far. <laughs> 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 so, which ones are closed? Yeah, it's in the other desk. Like, not not this one, the other one. Um, this one? Oh. Uh, no, the one on the left. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah. yeah. And this is a click bald. In Untiji, uh, it means look below. Oh, okay. I would never have guessed that, just for a million years of like guessing okay how do we look below the thing do i have to most of the people don't don't close the drawer so there's a chance to notice it. Yeah. oh i see i would never oh my god i'm lucky you guys are helping me because i would never have guessed that that <laughs> <laughs> says and this is our secret drawer. Oh, <laughs> look, two things? That was a double bonus thing. Now I've got the puzzle piece. <laughs> and that coin, I wouldn't have a clue where that coin thing goes. Um, so, oh, this is one of those puzzles, isn't it, that I have to try and work out how to do. I think... 
I think we'll just get the... See if we can try and do this puzzle. Can I rotate the pieces? Oh, A and D. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, I think we'll try do this. I, I don't want to take your time for too much longer. Like, I've had so much fun playing this with you, but, um... I don't... I feel like we could be playing this forever to try and work out this crazy pros, crazy game. Like it's it's lots of fun and stuff. Um, Almost. If you cut the other one, then it won't stop. <laughs> if I... Oh, I've got to rotate these, don't I? Okay. That's, I forget that I can rotate. Um, okay. I'm just trying to frustrate you into telling me that the game. Can I flip it? <laughs> no. No. Oh, because I can. Yeah, get... we, <laughs> we blocked this uh, this uh, move kind of movement because there was well, there was too many solutions. Oh, okay. But you can see what right I was. Right now there is a uh, four solution. Solution? Yeah, I think really? for this kind of yeah. <laughs> You guys have played this way too much. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this and, and many other puzzle games preparing ourselves for production of this one. So we played like almost all of them. <laughs> like we've seen many puzzles, really many. <laughs> many, just... many. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine this is just... You guys would be just like puzzle gaming all the time. I feel like I'm making it really hard. Um, I think the easiest way to start is with the longest one because it fits only in one place, really. Logically. Four place. I mean, in, in, <laughs> in many places, but logically, probably somewhere there. I reckon that's going to go close. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Oh my okay. god, now I've got another key and that's not going to open a door, that's going to do a... Oh, I don't know where that goes. Back and to my you also have a coin. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have a coin too. So, so one of the, one of the, not necessarily problems, but the puzzle inside the puzzles, I, and this is what I was trying to say before, and I don't know if I said it clearly, but it's trying to work out the order in which you do the puzzles because you've got all the puzzle bits and it kind of, mm -hmm. you're finding the puzzles but not even kind of having the necessary solution to them always sitting there, but then you might have the solution. So it's kind of very confusing like that. Um. <laughs> but if you look closer at the coin, maybe you will find something. <laughs> or maybe not. Okay. I knew one. <laughs> so, so, someone put in chat, if you chop up the desk for firewood and put it in the fireplace, it mm -hmm. um, it unlocks a secret door. I'm not sure if that is 100% true, but we could always try something like that. But I don't think you can chop up the desks. But, um, yes, there's nothing no, as but... destructive as that, I don't think. I've got a little keyhole, a tiny keyhole. Uh, but it's funny because uh, many people want to put something in the fire. I don't throw yeah. something into the fire. <laughs> I don't know why it is. Uh, at the beginning, we had um, uh, we had the mechanic that you could you could take an object and throw it anywhere you wanted. So then we well, we threw it out. But um, people, what, what people mostly do, they took something and threw it inside the firework. <laughs> I don't know why. Take the chair and put the fire. Yeah, you put the fire. Okay, I so think, that's pretty common. Yeah, but it's it's what you do, isn't it? You try and put things in a fire. I don't know what that coin <laughs> yeah. does. Or oh, I'm so lost but in this. You can look uh, closer to the coin. Oh, can I? Oh, but it doesn't have gears on it. Oh, 27. I see. See, it didn't have gears on it, so I didn't think I had to look on it. Oh my god. You guys are... It had the queen, the queen's head on it, so it was the hint. That, uh... Yeah, but it didn't have it here on her head. See? Oh. 
Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's, I was like, oh. Good feedback. Good feedback, that's nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was like, I was looking at all the queens on the wall, and I'm like, oh, what do I do with this? And so, yeah, I didn't even think for that part. It's okay. Oh. What is in this chest box? I'm. Oh, all the cog things, of course they are. Okay, <laughs> I know where they go. They go in here, so that's, that's an easy-ish one to kind of... No, it's not going to be easy to do. I know what you guys are like but it's and personally for me this is the hardest puzzle in the game okay so i'm gonna do it in like <laughs> next to no time that's my plan it's not gonna Is it the hardest oh. no does it matter if the cog holes don't line up like yeah that the cogs have to line up to each that's not good. See how they got like big cog holes and they got little cog holes. Can that one go here? Oh, it does line up now. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can put cogs everywhere you want, you know, on every on everything, but um, they might not, you know, work together. Okay. Oh, man. Probably one. <laughs> 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 Okay, so that one there can't go there. That has to be a little one. No. But I'm running out of... To see, that all works except for that. <laughs> Why does that not work together? If I don't... Can that move or something? Is there a trick to the trick? That's so close like that. Line up right yeah, there. you're working so hard on putting them together, but you're still missing one piece to wind them up. Oh, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you can put them together, but you will not able to check it. You, you will not be able to check if they work because you need to something to wind the clock up. So. Uh, so I have to like, oh my god! So that's what you do. yeah. Yeah, oh, the puzzle in the puzzle. Oh, well, I I think I'll just leave it. Like I I think we'll just call it quits because I can play this forever. Like I said, and I think I don't want to take all your time. Like I I'm super grateful that you guys have came along and shared a bit of information about the game. So hopefully people go and get it. Like there's a link in the description. Um, it's super fun and it's only been out for about a month now. I think like not a whole not even a month i think about three weeks so it's definitely worth checking out it if you want to get lots of puzzles and i've showed you easily how the, the first part goes together with no help at all uh, so <laughs> <laughs> that was a lie a complete lie but yeah um yeah so Definitely, yeah, I, there was a comment here. There's so, this game is so much easier when you have the programmers guiding you. And that, that's why... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you guys are here, so to help out. But yeah, th thank you very much for all your time. You guys are awesome. Um, I think it's, yeah, like, great game. And I am very happy. And uh, Anything else you guys wanted to add before we go, or...? Uh, what can we add? We um, we enjoy being here too, watching you play. <laughs> uh, we know two things that we need to to add in mm -hmm. the in the next update, mm, like the coin, for example. And uh, yeah, it was quite fun. <laughs> I, I was a little nervous when you get stuck, but I I think you had some fun too. Oh again. yeah, no, I had lots of fun. Yeah, we put a lot of heart into you know, this, and a lot of a lot of research, a lot of hard work. So I believe uh, it can give some fun time to the players. So let's yeah. play. Yeah, definitely. So, um, um, and another comment of awesome game, guys. Uh, awesome guys, thanks. Best of luck with for the game. So, lots of hate, lots of support for you guys, and yeah. 
definitely. Thanks again. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.